Maybe you've been in a casino before and you've heard an employee say something that you didn't quite understand, or maybe you've heard some phrases used elsewhere and you want to know what it means. In today's video, we're going to be covering some slang terms that casino employees use. <music> Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot channel where we bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when we come out with future episodes. Now, I've worked for various properties and just like with any job, casino employees will oftentimes use slang terms to describe certain situations. Now, obviously, since we are talking about slang terminology, there are a lot of different variations all across the world and frankly, all across various different properties. Properties. So maybe at your casino these terms are different, but these are just some general casino slang terms. So let's start it off with number one, and that term is going to be flea. Now the term flea is normally used with table games, but it can be used with slots as well. And if you hear this term used around you, it generally is pretty derogatory. Employees will often use the term flea to describe either a person or a group of people who they find annoying or oftentimes people that don't tip. An example of this used is say if you're at a table game and another dealer is swapping out and the outgoing dealer says, hey, you've got fleas. That generally means that it's a group of people that are not necessarily good people to be around. They're either very annoying or they don't tip. The term flea is rarely used in the field of slots, but if it is, it's normally used to describe somebody that's just aimlessly walking around, taking up space or sitting in chairs, not playing, hopping from chair to chair, or frankly, just being annoying or not tipping. Used in a sentence between employees, it might sound something like this. If a dealer is talking to another dealer, hey, Good luck with that table, you've got fleas. So now you know what the term flea means if you ever hear it at your casino. Number two, let's talk about whales. Now, unlike the term flea, the term whale is more commonly known. A whale is used to describe a high roller or somebody with a lot of money. Typically, if a casino staff identifies somebody as a whale, then usually that person is going to get a lot of extra attention or special treatment, anything to really keep them play. Now, not everybody is considered a whale. Generally, each casino has their own terminology for really what qualifies as a whale, but generally, it's somebody that comes in with a lot of money. We're talking tens of thousands of dollars to spend. Used in a sentence, it might sound something like this. Bob over there playing pinball is a real whale. We should really try to offer him some extra meals or try to get him to extend his stay. The term whale is generally a pretty positive term. Number three, let's talk about vultures. Now, right away, we all know that vultures are not necessarily the most positive creatures, so we kind of know right off the bat that it's not a real positive term to be used around people. Vultures, of course, are creatures that circle around and feed off of the scraps that are left behind. Casino employees will oftentimes use the term vulture to describe somebody that is aimlessly walking around looking for spare change or collecting tickets. This can also be used to describe people that aimlessly will circle a bank of machines just like a vulture does in hopes of trying to pick up any left credits that somebody might leave behind. Used in a sentence, you might hear a casino employee say something like, hey, I've got a vulture in my section. Would you mind to help me keep an eye on them? So now if you ever hear casino employees say that they're dealing with a vulture, you know what they're talking about. Number four, let's talk about the term tilt. Now the term tilt is generally a slot related term, but it can also be used to describe a particular person's behavior. And the term tilt is used for a variety of reasons. The first and most widely used reason is there's a problem with the slot machine. These could be things like there's a paper tilt, a real tilt, a display tilt. Generally, any issue with a slot machine is normally going to have the word tilt attached to it. Tilt basically equals a problem. Now, the term tilt can also be used to describe a person's actions. This would be as if they are going way too far over their budget or they're gambling a lot more than they should. An example of this would be something like, hey, that guy over there is going full tilt, meaning that he is spending way more than he should. He's either chasing a loss, maybe it's somebody that just won a jackpot and they just put it all back into the machine. Basically anything that could indicate that their behavior is problematic or somebody is being very dangerous and careless with their budget. Used in a sentence, it might sound something like this. Hey, Cheryl just won a big jackpot, but unfortunately she went tilt and lost it all. So now you know that the word tilt usually indicates some kind of a problem, whether that is with a person's behavior or with a slot machine. Number five, let's talk about the term 
the folder. Now, every casino is vastly different when it comes to this term. It's usually pretty property specific, but it usually will reference some kind of a folder. And we're talking about a physical folder. We're not talking about the game of cards. The slang term folder will often indicate that somebody, a gambler, has verbally admitted themselves to having a gambling problem and they need to be given what is called the folder. The folder is required to be kept on hand at properties and it contains resources and information on problem gambling. But you don't just give somebody a folder, there's a lot of other actions that take place when this term is used. The casinos do not take this as a joke and in the event that somebody has to go and get that folder and hand it to a gambler, that also means that that person is required to be removed from the premises. So it's definitely nothing to joke about and it can invoke a series of events. One big thing to note about this is in order for somebody to receive the folder, they have to themselves admit that they have a problem or might have a problem. Somebody else can't go do it for them. The words have to come from that player's mouth. An example of this used is say if you're playing a slot machine and you're really down and you're very upset and a floor worker comes by, if you verbally tell that floor worker, hey, I think I might have a problem, you might hear them get on the radio and request what is called the folder. If the folder is requested within a matter of minutes, you will not only have a packet of helpful information about gambling addiction, but you will also be escorted out by casino security. Now, just like with any industry or job, different establishments and different regions are going to have vastly different terms to describe certain customers and certain situations. Now, since the spectrum of slang terms is so incredibly broad with so many variations, we'd like to hear from you. So leave your comments down below if you use slang terms or have used slang terms at your place of work and what exactly they mean. So leave those down in the comments below. We would love to read them. They're always fun to read. Don't forget to like this video, give us a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.